piggy people so I just wanted to make a video today with a bunch of updates and stuff that's happening with the piggies so this is the herd's cage here I must say I'm really loving that I only have two cages now it seems so much faster for tidy up because you don't have such a concentrated mess so we'll start over here look at Miss Veda hi baby my baby pig Look how big she is. So Veda's about six months old now. Isn't that crazy? Hi, baby pig. Are you going to be shy? I am holding my camera on a little tripod thing, so it might be freaky. Hi, baby. Little baby pig. Hi, baby. Hello. How are you? Are you the most gorgeous girl? Oh, you're so pretty. Hi. Hello. She is so cute. We're zooming. So anyway, next we'll talk about Reese. So Reese still has an opening from where her abscess was that I am working on healing. So we are down to a very small little area. I actually picked up polysporin the other day, which I've never used on the pigs before. But her little spot still can be a teeny bit weepy and it's in an area that kind of can stay dark and damp so I still have been cleaning it twice a day with saline just wiping away any you know discharge and just keeping it really tidy but I just feel like there's a little something more that I need for it to stay clean so I picked up polysporin and I'll clean it in the morning and put a tiny dab and really work it in and then I'll sit with her for about five or ten minutes to make sure it has soaked in and then put her back in the cage. And fingers crossed so far it actually has made the whole size shrink in about half. So it seems to be working. And I just put the teeniest amount on a q-tip to get like precise placement just putting it right where the little hole is. So that's kind of where we're at right now, and she still only has one bottom incisor. I have not seen any evidence that the other one's coming back yet. I think it's been about three, three weeks, and I would have thought if it was coming back that maybe I'd see just the start of it, but so far nothing, which is fine. And she's doing awesome. She is a happy, happy pig, and she has maintained her weight this entire time. And you can always see her laying in the hay piles just like her usual self, so it's so nice. There's little Ray Ray. She is doing great. Good, Her little good friend there, baby pig. Sometimes those two are sassy. I feel like Velvie's back there. She's hiding. Velvie has about two more weeks before her next planned dental trim, so we'll see... I assume she's going to need it because her one huge bottom tooth is just crazy looking right now. And there's Huckman. So over in the trio's cage, everybody is super calm. It took one week for Busby to stop pestering Autumn. Which is what I figured being as he did that to the sisters. But everybody's getting along really well. Autumn is loving it and super relaxed. And she's being so sweet and gentle with Annie, which is my biggest concern, being as Annie is the skinny pig and the senior. So I was really happy that she's not doing anything to bother her. Where's my Annie Banani? Hi, gorgeous. How are you? Hello, are you stepping into the light? So one of the other things I forgot to mention to you guys is I'm pretty sure Busby has vision issues, so his eyes are probably half the size of everybody else's. When I got him, he was probably about six months old, so at first I thought it was just because he wasn't full grown. But he's going to be a year in April, is what I'm putting him at, because obviously I don't have his exact date. But his eyes are half the size of everybody else's, like Veda's eyes are bigger than his. And he's also a piggy who is very skittish. And when we first got him, uh, two times he ran into the wall of his cage pretty hard, 
which you don't really see that happen. And that was just while he was popcorning around being happy. And the other thing I notice all the time is if I'm trying to hand him a treat, he doesn't pay attention at all, so I'll toss it in front of him. And he'll smell it, but like he'll walk right over it, and then he'll have to back up, and he's sniffing and sniffing trying to find it. So I really don't think he has good vision. Which kind of explains why he uh, startles the easiest. Just a little bit of movement makes him run, probably because his vision is pretty crummy. But that doesn't matter, we love him anyway. He's a little crazy boy. And see, like, he just got startled just from Annie walking in that hay. But now he has two big, beautiful ladies to watch over him. He is the cutest little thing. I wish I could pass him treats, but it just never happens. I keep trying and trying. Like, I'm just looking right now. Autumn has huge eyes, and his are so tiny. And Nolly won't be able to get a good look for you. What was he doing? A couple pops. It sucks because I can't really get the camera close to him where he would be running. There's Mr. Huckman. Oh, it's getting dark over there. Anyway, guys, that was all, I guess. Just some updates for the piggies. Oh, I can see... A little bit of Velvy over there. She's hiding. Look at that pretty little baby pig. Look how gorgeous you are, Autumn. My little Annie Banani. Alright, piggy people, I will talk to you guys later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!